Vocals can be some of the hardest tracks to get the mix and the balance right in your song. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use automation to level out our vocal performances in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, consider subscribing. And yes, we're back in GarageBand here. I'm continuing to work on the mix of this rock song for Steve, one of my wonderful supporters over on Patreon. So what we've done so far is we've done the full mix and we're very close to a final mix here. But I've got a couple of little things that I wanted to do and automating these vocals to make sure that they're level and they're sounding their best is something I want to do. So let's jump in and show you how to use automation on a vocal. So let's quickly re-familiarize ourselves with this song. It's a rock song here. We've got drums and bass. We've got a bunch of guitars down here and we've got a lead vocal. So if we hit play on this one. Turn on my TV. And I think what I've done so far is a reasonably good job of balancing out and getting a level static mix on this vocal. So if we come in here to the plugins and EQ and take a look at what we've got, the main thing doing the work here is the compressor. So that's the first thing I like to do. After you've balanced it out and you've got your static mix, come in here and use some compression because what compression is doing is when we drop the threshold down and we increase the ratio and we actually add compression here, it's actually going to smooth out those peaks and pull up the quieter parts. So before you start automating, you can usually get some pretty good results with just compression. And often sometimes I'll only use compression and I was nearly going to do that, but then there's some parts in here that just popped out to me that I thought I'd want to actually work on. So let's jump in and show you what I mean now. So let's show you how we can add in this automation. Now, what you want to do is tap right here on the microphone. You don't want to tap out here. You're going to get a different set of options here, some editing options. We want to tap on the track, on the microphone itself, and then we want to tap on automation. And this is going to bring up our automation lanes that we can start manipulating. Now, the first thing you want to do is up the top left here, flick this one on. This will allow you to actually add automation points. And then what I'm gonna do, let's zoom right on in here. So we're just gonna pinch in and zoom. Now this is a section where it's getting a little bit loud. So let's just see what we need to do here. We'll zoom right on in and we can put a couple of points. I normally put two points. So we'll tap right there. We'll tap again right there because what we wanna do is we want the volume to come down just before this word. So now I'm going to turn it off in the top left corner. And then what we can do is we can grab this point. I'm going to move it across a little bit. And you can see there it says we're at minus 11.3 dB. So what we can now actually do is drop that down. And say we wanted that to be maybe minus 14 dB. We can drop it down like that. Now let's just bring it down quite a bit. If we drop it all the way down to like minus 29, let's take a listen to this and you'll hear the drastic sort of change that we can get. So clearly we don't want it to go down that far, but what we can do is if we bring it back on up and put it around about there, let's come in here and take a listen to this section now. And now what we actually want, this last section here is the part that I actually want to increase the volume because you can see the waveform's a bit lower. I think we need a bit of a volume boost. So up in the top left, we turn that back on. Let's give ourselves another couple of dots. I always use them in sort of lots of two, just so that you can actually move that up and down. If you just put one there, in fact, let's show you what happens if you put one. So we'll just undo that second one. If you've only got one dot there and we turn that off, now it's gonna do something like this. It's gonna it's gonna give you a point and then it's gonna raise it up like that. So we don't actually want that. Let's hit undo again, bring it back to its uh, normal level there. So we'll turn that back on, give ourselves that second point and then turn it back off again. And then we'll grab this. And now for this last section, I actually want it to go a bit louder. So what if we bring this up to maybe minus eight at that section? And let's just now come back. We'll zoom back out a little bit. Let's play this whole section and see if this has actually helped our overall volume balance here now. Where you can strike first if you stay and then we're all gonna taste that acid rain. So it's definitely better, but I think I've gone a little bit too far on both accounts. So let's take a closer look at that now. Okay, so we'll come back in here. We will uh, grab this one. And what we can now actually do is tap right here on the line. Instead of using the point, you can grab the line and then you'll see that it adjusts this and it tells you the dB. So I think this one, we don't want it to come down too much, maybe just down to about 12.9. And this one probably went a little bit too loud. Let's bring this back down to maybe, yeah, around about that 9.2. 
And there you can see we've just got some very gradual changes here. And you might say, is that going to make the biggest difference? Probably not. So you don't need to do this on every track. And you don't need to do this like ridiculously on every word. But if you've got words that are poking out to you or you've got sections that are not sounding loud enough, this is a great way to bring them back in. Let's play this section again now with these changes. Well, you can strike first if you say I Yeah, so you can just hear that you're getting a little bit more of that in there. Now, of course, with, with our other sections now, if we wanted to go back to the regular volume here, we can do the same again. We can just add in another point here. And after that last word there, we'll tap it in. We'll tap it again. Get our two points. Turn it off. Zoom our way in. And then we can actually bring this dot back down to that original sort of 11, I think it was 11.3, around about that mark for the next section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna do all of these points and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've actually done with this track so you can see some of the changes that I would make with a track like this. All right, so I've spent probably 10 minutes just tweaking some of the automation on this vocal track. So let's jump in and take a look at what we have done. Now you can see faintly the automation lines just behind there, but if you wanna see them in detail, again, tap right here on the microphone, tap automation and here you go so what have we done let's come in and take a look so we're going to zoom on in here so there's this section here that was a little bit too quiet and i couldn't hear the words so this is something i use like this for a lot is if there's just one phrase especially if you start singing a lower part you can actually drop your volume quite significantly so that's what happened here let's take a listen to this part now and you'll hear and see where i boosted up this volume here to cover this lower volume part so you can actually hear those words in there because I've boosted it up just a few dB and it doesn't have to be much. It can be pretty subtle because if it's too much, it actually sounds unnatural. We've done the same thing here. So another few words here. Let's take a listen. Again, just so that we could get that forget global warming, that could actually come in there. So that is working well. Now we've dipped down here. This second verse, you can see the waveforms are a bit bigger. We're singing a bit louder. So I've actually dropped the overall volume down just slightly for this next part, just so that it's not going to be overpowering. Don't want it. may still be even just a little bit loud so if we just grab on this we can drag it you can see we get to see the db there we'll drag it down let's maybe make this minus 12 point maybe nine like that let's take another listen Don't want excuses, it's only yeah it's just sitting a bit nicer there and then down towards the end here this is where we did that little change where we just shimmied on down and then we bring it up a little bit for this last bit so we'll play it back So again, it's not a major difference, but it just means that we can hear clearly every different vocal. Again, we've brought it up a little bit for this next section. And then again, we've used that up trick here to get this last bit. Let's take a listen to this. Well, you can strike first if you stay And that could almost go up a little bit more because it's so low. So we'll just bring that up maybe up to minus... 8.6 like that and there you go so that is our lead vocal uh, we've done the same thing here we've just boosted it up a little bit so you can see here not a massive amount of move so i know a lot of people will actually use this to remove every single breath and every single in between phrase to drop it down to zero unless you've got a really breathy vocal and you don't want it I don't suggest that. It's just going to take a lot of time. And uh, yeah, it's pro probably not the best use of your time. One final thing I wanted to show you about volume here, and that is that we've actually got the lead vocal at the end here. If we hit done on that one in the top right, come back here. This lead vocal here was just all one section. And what happened is uh, the first half was at a lower volume and the second half is a higher volume, which is deliberate. And I know that Steve wanted that in this part, but it's just a little bit too loud. So what I've actually done is I've used clip gain as instead of automation for this, and it can actually be a really handy tool to have in your toolkit. So to do, to do this, I've just split it down the middle there. And then if we tap, 
tap again and go settings, we can actually adjust this gain setting here to actually drop it down. So all I've done is drop this and this will drop it by however many dB that is over the actual volume. So it's not a, a it's it's a relative volume control, relative gain control there. So it's 2.6 dB lower than whatever the volume set at. So if we hit done on that, and then if we come and listen to the difference between these two, it just levels it off a little bit. Let's take a listen. <laughs> So it's still good. It still punches through, but not. It doesn't <clears throat> doesn't overpower that synth sound, and it doesn't sound too uh, too loud in the mix there. So there you go. That is automation. I think we're very close with this final mix. If you're not already subscribed consider doing that because we're going to be mastering this song next. So we've nearly got the final mix here. I'm going to be exporting this and mastering this song in a video very soon. Thanks again for watching. There's two more videos linked down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next one.